हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एयरक्राफ्ट डिजाइन कोर्स पार्ट टू इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ डिजाइन एंड डिजाइन मस बिगिन विथ रिक्वायरमेंट्स वेदर इट्स एन स्मॉल एयरक्राफ्ट फाइटर एयरक्राफ्ट और इवन पैसेंजर एयरक्राफ्ट सो बेसिकली देर आर थ्री फेजेस ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट डिजाइन फर्स्ट वन कॉन्सेप्टुअल डिजाइन सेकेंड प्रिलिमिनरी डिजाइन थर्ड डिटेल डिजाइन एंड फाइनली लिड्स टू एन फैब्रिकेशन फर्स्ट कॉन्सेप्टुअल डिजाइन स्टेप इन टाइल्स द कॉन्सेप्टुअल स्केचिंग a variety of possible aircraft configurations that meet the required design specification such as wing unit tail unit fuselage unit and air intake unit for an example if i am going to design a large passenger aircraft with an maximum speed of 290 meter per second that is approximately 0.8 mach number 0.85 range about 15000 km possibly reducing the landing and take off distance by augmenting advanced technology so in this in my design requirement based on my required need to make a conceptual sketch i have made four possible sketches based on my requirement criteria now from here determine the design configuration that meets all the requirements and align to the factor such as fuselage shape wing configuration and location engine size and location tail configuration and location and other features now other special features in configuration layouts like aerodynamic consideration blended wing body structural considerations like whether i have to use kelson longirons or semi monocoque or monocoque structures crash worthiness manufacturability environmental consideration whether it will be having a high noise uh, noise reduction or uh, emissions etc additional considerations for military airplanes like radar detectability infrared detectability stealth technology and finally layout on a paper and cad software based on this configuration layout estimation of aircraft weight is done now aircraft is a combination of wing engine fuselage tailplane payload and fuel weight so finding out the critical performance parameters of the aircraft that is aerodynamic efficiency wing loading thrust loading now to check the performance analysis does the design meet or exceeding the requirement suppose if it is not meeting the requirement then you need to iterate the critical performance parameter okay if yes then you have to optimize the best design optimization is carried out by plotting the performance of different airplane on a graph to obtain the optimum value of your design this we will see in the very next module by practical demonstration so in a nutshell the conceptual design gives you the proper answer will it work how does it look like what are the basic designing requirements that is driving through what method should we consider and what will be its weight and the cost so coming to the next is the preliminary design it arrives at in the conceptual design phase so in this uh, preliminary design it freezes the optimum design configuration and from there it develops the lofting now which undergoes several testing like wind tunnel testing cfd flow analysis structural and control analysis are carried out aerodynamic flaws 
and structural instability if any are corrected if it's fine then proceed it for the final design which is drawn and finalized then after finalizing of all the design it lies to a very key decision with the manufacturer okay whether to actually go ahead with the production of the aircraft or not so several design are tested and analyzed including performance whether it is economically stable or not if it is stable then it is moved to a next step that is a detailed design it deals with the fabrication aspects of the aircraft to be manufactured it also determines the design and location of frames formers spars ribs and other structural element it also undergoes flight simulation and flight testing are implemented at this stage not only that it also test through cfd and finite element method okay to achieve and to find the cost effectiveness of the design in a short time period okay so in this module you have learned about the basic stages of aircraft design hope to see you again in the next module where we will learn about the initial sizing with a practical demonstration we love to hear your feedback so i can customize my teaching skill in the very next video thank you so much for watching